Hello. This short presentation sets out the process for obtaining patron approval for building works at your school. Before we begin, it may be useful to focus briefly on the role and responsibilities of the Board of Management and those of Lakela Shiel in respect to property and building matters. Management of school property and, and buildings is a shared responsibility between Shiel and Lakela, together with the Boards of Management of each individual school. The board should have awareness and oversight of all building works in the school. However, as you can see from this slide, SHIEL has ultimate responsibility for all issues relating to property and buildings. SHIEL has now developed and approved patron approval procedures in order to assist boards of management and principals in ensuring that all required patron approvals are obtained and recorded. While the majority of building works will be undertaken and funded via one or other of the Department of Education schemes listed, these procedures also apply to non-department funded works. Routine maintenance work is excluded unless the works involve an element of structural work. It must be constantly borne in mind that the Board of Management and ultimately the Trust are responsible where costs exceed the approved Department of Education funding. Therefore, oversight by the trust of all works being carried out on school property is essential. As can be seen here in the JMB manual for boards of management of Catholic voluntary secondary schools, it can be seen that changes that will affect the structure of school buildings are matters for the trustee alone, not for the board of management. And it also points out very clearly that the approval of the trustees must be obtained prior to approaching the Department of Education to see capital funding. It is not sufficient to inform the trustees after an application has already been made. It must be prior to making contact with the department. The approvals process has been developed to align closely with the Department of Education procedures. And a key consideration was to minimize any additional workload, particularly on principals. There are four occasions where patron approval must be obtained, and these are referred to as gateways to prevent confusion with the Department of Education stages uh, in their building projects. Gateway one, as we said previously, permission must be obtained prior to applying to the Department of Education for a grant under any of their schemes or undertaking non-Department of Education funded building works. Gateway two is where patron approval must be obtained prior to commencing design of the project. In gateway three, permission must be obtained prior to going to tender for the works. And with gateway four, approval must be obtained prior to appointing a contractor. While in practice, it is likely to be the principal who communicates with Shiel in relation to these, it should be noted that in each case, it is the responsibility of the Board of Management to ensure these procedures are followed. There is a separate application form for each gateway, and the correct application form for each gateway should be completed and emailed to Pat Flynn using the email address pat at lakalatrust.ie. These application forms will be emailed to all schools shortly and are editable. They specify the required information to enable SHIELD to make a timely decision on your application. If any of the required information is not included, this will result in delays or failure to obtain approval. Under no circumstances should you proceed with a project unless each required approval has been obtained. This is essential to protect principals, boards of management and the trust. These procedures are being put in place to give boards of management an extra layer of protection to ensure the consultant or design team engaged is complying with Department of Education procedures and standards. The flow chart on screen over the next few slides is a visual representation of the process.
We hope that this presentation provides some clarity around the approvals process for building works. A copy of the Lakela property policy and a detailed document on these approval procedures will be emailed to each school principal and board of management chairperson following this round of cluster meetings. Once you've received them and had an opportunity to go through them, we'll be happy to address any questions or concerns you may have. Thank you very much for your attention.